If you've ever looked over a data scientist's shoulder at work, you might have seen this graph. Or this on their computer. Or that. But mostly this, since they're waiting on their SQL queries to finish. <laughs> In this video, we'll explain what this graph actually represents. This is Recall, a branded channel from Dadaiku, and I'm Joma. Let's look at the graph a bit more closely. This is called the ROC curve. It stands for Receiver Operating Characteristic. I know, it's okay. Most people don't actually know what it stands for. On the x-axis, you have false positive rate, and on the y-axis, you have the true positive rate. So to understand this curve, we first have to understand what these rates mean. And before we understand these rates, we have to understand what false positive means. When you're trying to predict a yes or no answer, there are four situations that can occur, which is represented by each of these squares. We first saw the term false positive, which is this one. This is the situation where you thought something was true, but it was actually false. To explain this, here's Victor, the hot dog predictor. He's a robot. His job is to look at an image and say whether or not it's a hot dog or not. Here's the first image. Yes, that's definitely a hot dog. So that was a false positive because he thought, yes, it was a hot dog, AKA positive, but he was incorrect, AKA false, hence false positive. Let's try another one. Yes, that is a hot dog, final answer. So that was true positive because he thought, yes, it was a hot dog, AKA positive, and he was also correct about it, AKA true, hence true positive. Let's do a few more just to make sure we understand. You ready, Victor, the hot dog predictor? I would say no, that's not a hot dog. That was a hot dog. If you zoom in, you can clearly see it's a hot dog. Hence, this was a false negative because he thought, no, it was not a hot dog, AKA negative, but he was incorrect, AKA false. Hence, false negative. Last one. So seen a puzzle hot dog. This is not a hot dog, clearly. Excellent, this was a true negative because he thought, no, it was not a hot dog, AKA negative, and he was correct about it, AKA true, thus true negative. All right, back to the curve. What does this curve mean then? This curve actually represents how good your predictive model is, but why is it a curve? Because back to Victor, before telling him to predict whether or not the image is a hot dog, you can tell him to play it safe or to play it aggressively. Here's what actually happens in his brain when you show him a hot dog. Hmm, okay, let's see. This is a dog, yes. This dog seems to be hot. It's a dog that's hot. Does that mean it's a hot dog? Shoot, I don't know. Hmm, okay, I think this has a 60% chance of being a hot dog, so I'll give it a 0.6 score. So that's what he thinks. But what if his manager told him, hey, Play it safe. I don't want people to come back with food poisoning, eating something that's not a hot dog. It'll damage our reputation and we'll go bankrupt. Victor will say, okay then, I'll only say it's a hot dog when I'm 90% sure. So he'll say, no, that's not a hot dog. So that strategy would be this dot on this curve. He's optimizing for lowering the false positive rate at the expense of our true positive rate. We want to have high precision, basically. But one day we have a new manager and that new manager told him, hey, just give me as many hot dogs as you can. Even if it's not a hot dog, I don't care. Screw the customers. I just want to make money. Victor will say, okay then, even if there's only a 10% chance that it's a hot dog, I might as well say it's a hot dog then. So the picture of a dog that's hot, that's definitely a hot dog. So that strategy would be like this dot on this curve. He's optimizing to increase his true positive rate at the expense of increasing his false positive rates also. We want to have a high recall. 
Doesn't this sound familiar? Precision and Recall. Recall is the name of our channel. Wow. Anyways, back to the graph. Each time you have a binary classifier, something that tries to predict a yes or no response, you'll want to look at this curve. So what do you think a good model will look like? It'll look like this. Why? Because even with a small false positive rate, you already have a high true positive rate. So even if you have a high bar of calling what is a real hot dog, you're still successfully identifying most of the real hot dogs. Unlike this curve, where if you want to play it safe, then you'll probably miss a lot of real hot dogs because the true positive rate is so low. So visually, it's kind of hard to say, hey, this is how my motto is doing. Look at this curve. So we made another metric called AUC, which is area under the curve, which represents this area. And the larger the number, the better. So that's it. Now you know. If you want to learn more, you can check out Dadaiku's intro to machine learning docs, especially the model evaluation section. They use better examples than my hot dog one. So if you want to dig in more, check them out. So Dadaiku is an everyday AI platform. And one of the things you can do on their platform is to easily create these models based on your training data. And it will show you the ROC curve without writing much code. Anyways, that's it for the video and I'll see you in the next one.